G'day folks, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time for you. This is uh, how to build a small aircraft. So you're gonna need some tools. Got some tools here and, um, and uh, I'll just talk you through how to go about it. Um, the, the biggest thing you probably need for a start is just some space, some room to do it in, even though it's a small aircraft. Um, you know, they take up a bit more room than a car, so just make sure you've got um, a, a good working area, pl plenty of space there to, to build your aircraft. Let's get into it. So the, the sort of the main body of the aircraft, like uh, the fuselage, probably about, we'll have it about this long, so we're sort of, we'll, the tail will be here. So one, two, three, four, five, we'll go to about there. That'll be sort of like the length of the, of the, um, the fuselage. Um, sort of take a step back, leave, leave probably about oh, one and a half there, sort of, that's where your engine's going to be. So your propeller will be on the front there. And you sort of sit back a little bit here, so, so you probably, you have your seat here. Um, if you want to make it a bit wider, probably about that wide, if you want to have two seats in there. So you put your seats there. Don't bother putting anything back here, just, just a little bit of room for your bags and so forth like that and and on th and then you'll like the top of the fuselage will come here and then you'll have your tail going up there see so your tail will probably be at that high make it about at that high i guess um and then and then you'll have two little um so two two little wings here about that big and and on the back of them there'll be little flaps and that'll help with your lift and your steering and everything and, and on the back of your tail here just have another section that can move like a, it's a rudder. So that's that's going to be going that way. Um, underneath, right underneath it here, put a little, just like a little wheel. You probably get one of those little, um, like a like a heavy duty trolley wheel from Bunnings or something like your local hardware shop. Put that under there so when you land, that'll be um, that'll hit the ground first when you land. Um, your wings, like if you. Going from there to about here, um, your wings probably be, no, you don't have to make them too big, I mean, uh, sort of just enough to sort of give you plain lift. So, so this is the edge of my fuselage here. I'll go one, two, maybe just, just a little bit more. One, two, and two feet there. Out here now, and, and on, on the edges of the wing, and so you'll go the same the other way. And on the edge of the wing here, you'll have some flaps. Um, your flaps here, and those bits on the on the other on the other two little wings and the rudder, they'll all be controlled by you'll have bits of wire going to them. For you can, uh, and so the bits of wire will come back down here to where you've got your pedals. And um, you can have either a joystick, like some people just like having the joystick, which will sort of control the wires as you're flying along. Um, and there are people who prefer like a you know, something to steer like that. Well, um, don't use a wheel. You don't use a wheel. You use more like, uh, I don't know, sort of goes like that, and it, you, you sort of hold it like that. So I imagine um, you could use something like, I don't know, the handle off a, a whipper snipper or maybe even a metal detector or something like that if you find one cheap on eBay or something like that. You have that there, and you get some instruments like, um, things that say how fast you're going and um, your oil. You, it's very important to have uh, a, a thing there that's um, to tell you if you're getting low on oil. Very, that's real. I, I would say buy that thing first. That's probably the most important thing. And also, um, you know, something to tell you how high you are. Um, that's handy too. Speed. Temperature, if you want a clock. Oh, and don't forget to put. You've got doors here too. You got so so your doors are probably more than likely open onto your wing. Just make sure that like um, you know you put a bit of reinforcement there with the wing, or you you sort of step over it. Might have a step to get out because you don't want to step on your wing. The, the wings are you know that's that's your lifeline up there. Um, they're your shock shock absorbers and. All that. Um, and, and put some wheels like 
So, so your wings are going one, two, and then two steps in. Put some wheels sort of about halfway on each wing. So that's going to be, so So when you land, you come in that little trolley wheel hit, will hit first and then that, those wings hit next. Um, and of course, you know, put a couple of windows in there and a little windscreen. You have um, some windscreen wipers there too if it gets wet. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, and just wet, like when you put your engine in, um, make sure you put it in the right way. Don't, don't put it around back to front. You're in real trouble and waste a lot of time. And so you have the shaft coming out the front there and then you've got your put a propeller on the front there. Make sure you get one that's... Um, well, make sure that you, the, the wheels under your wings are sort of go high enough that the propeller doesn't hit the ground. Um, you don't want that. I think that's pretty much it. Um, you, and then just paint it. Just paint it, man. Uh, but be careful, like, and then you just got to go and get a license. And um, you can't fly without a license. It's very important. It's illegal, actually, uh, to fly. Um, but, you know, if, if you can get in trouble with drones in some areas, you're sure as hell going to get in trouble if you're flying a small aircraft without a license. So uh, make sure you do that. Um, good luck with it. Get out there, and I look forward to seeing uh, the aircraft that you build. And um, we'll be back with some more instructional videos. I've got to do one soon. I've had someone ask me to do a video on how to make popcorn. Uh, so I'll be doing that pretty soon. And uh, see you later, folks. Enjoy your small aircraft building.